Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this background. Let's open a new document, change the fill to black and the stroke to none. Then press the letter L for the ellipse tool or select it from the toolbar panel and single click on the artboard. Change the width and the height to 17 pixels and click OK. Next open the Symbols panel. If you can't see it, go to Window and select Symbols. Now drag this circle here. Close this panel and delete everything from the artboard. Next we'll create lots of dots. Instead of drawing them one by one, we will use a faster method. First zoom out and select the Symbol Sprayer tool. Now create lots of dots. Before we can edit our shapes, first we need to expand them. To do this, go to Object and select Expand. And repeat this step one more time. Next, switch to the Selection tool, right click with your mouse and choose Ungroup. Now reposition the dots that are too close to each other. When you are done, double click on layer 1 and rename it to Dots. Then create a new layer and name it Lines. Let's lock the bottom layer to prevent it from shifting. Then swap the fill and the stroke and select the pen tool. And now we will simply connect all the dots. Before we start, go to View and make sure all the snap options are unchecked. Now click in the center of any dot. Make sure to click on the center mark and not the path. Then click on the center of another dot and again. Next we'll create another polygon that will share one of the sides with the existing one. You will notice that the cursor is showing a minus symbol. If we click on the existing center anchor point, we will delete the existing path. Let's undo it. To do it right, first hover over the existing center anchor point and then hold down the Shift key. Now, while you are still holding the Shift key, click on this anchor point and then release the Shift key. And you can draw another line. That way you will only draw one line between the dots and avoid any overlapping. To finish the path and start from a new point, first hold down the control key and then click away from any of the shapes. And continue connecting dots. Finally, using the lasso tool, select the dots that are not connected and delete them. If you wish, you can modify the position of any dot. With the lasso tool selected, draw a line around any dot you want to move. Then switch to the direct selection tool, click on the center anchor point, hold and drag to reposition it. And again, select a desired dot. Switch to the Direct Selection tool, click on the center anchor point, hold and drag. Let's say we want our lines to be thicker. First select the Lines layer and then open the Stroke panel. Now adjust the stroke weight. With the thicker strokes, some corners might show sharp edges. 
We can eliminate this by setting the corners value to round join. Let's change the stroke weight back to one point. And of course you can adjust the dots as well. Let's open the layers panel and this time select the dots layer. We can swap the fill and the stroke. If you don't like the lines crossing the circle, you can delete them. This however will take a long time. First with the dots layer selected, go to object and choose expand appearance. Go to object one more time and choose expand. Then select the lines layer and expand it a few times. Now make sure both layers are selected, then go to the Shape Builder tool and delete the unwanted lines. And you will have to repeat this with every circle. Let's undo it. If you wish, you can adjust the size of your dots. First make sure the dots layer is selected. Then go to Object, Transform and select Transform Each. Check the preview box to see what we are doing. Now move the horizontal and vertical scale value to the same number. If you wish to change the scale value to a higher number than 200, simply highlight the number in the horizontal scale window and type anything you wish. Now type the same number for the vertical value to keep them proportional. Let's undo it. You can also make some dots smaller and other ones bigger. To do this, just select random from the options. I'm going to undo the last step. And of course you can reverse the color. Let's create a new layer, name it background and draw a rectangle with black fill and no stroke to cover the artboard. Now bring this layer to the bottom. Select the dots layer, change the fill to white, then select the lines layer and change the stroke to white as well. And of course you can hide all the lines and dots outside the artboard by creating a clipping mask. First swap the fill and the stroke, change the fill to a different color, draw a rectangle to cover the artboard, now select everything and press the Ctrl and number 7 keys on your keyboard to create a clipping mask. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.